chapter two trig with chapters one and two, which re will review algebra one concepts. The first topic we're going to cover is the difference between an expression, which you'll recall is, for example, 3x plus 2 is an expression. An expression lacks an equal sign, where an equation would have two expressions set equal to each other. So it's a mathematical sentence that has two expressions set equal to each other. You can simplify an expression, but remember that you can't solve for a variable unless you have an equation. And the key word in an equation um, and a mathematical sentence is that you have an equal sign with an equation. So real numbers can be classified as either rational or irrational. So we'll begin with how do I classify a number? So real numbers have two branches. They're either rational or irrational. So under the rational branch, we're going to define a rational as the word ratio is in the word rational. So it can be written as a fraction. And also as a decimal. So long as it terminates or repeats. So an example of this would be, well, why would a repeating decimal be rational? One third is 0 0.3333 repeated, but we can write that as a fraction of one third. So anything that could be written as a fraction is rational. If you can't write it as a fraction, we classify it as irrational. So irrational numbers are non-repeating and non-terminating decimal. Anyone think of anything that is irrational? So good if you guys mentioned pi. We're going to encounter another famous irrational number called e when we get to exponential and logs. But basically, any square root that doesn't simplify down to be a perfect square, like square root of 4, we know that that's equal to 2, so that's rational. Um, but square root of 2, square root of 3, square root of 5, square root of 6. So anything that where you punch it into the calculator and you get a non-terminating, non-repeating decimal. Under the rational umbrella, we can be even more specific. Okay, so the next level of classification, classification would be within the rational family, there's integers. And integers are the rational numbers that include all of the num negative numbers that are, I, I know a lot of people tend to use the word whole, which is another classification, but they're not um, partial values of numbers. For example, 1.5 is not an integer. It's rational, but it's not an integer. And these values that you see here um, extending into negative infinity and infinity and all the values in between those that fall into this category are integers. And then within the integer category, we have whole numbers. And whole numbers, you might have heard this from a teacher before, but whole has the, the now let me make that highlighter a little bit smaller here. Um, whole has the letter O in it which resembles the number zero. So whole numbers are all the numbers starting with zero, all the integers starting with zero and going in a positive direction. And finally, we have our natural numbers. So if we think about how we learned numbers when we were in elementary school, we started with natural numbers. It was natural for us to start with one and then count four, two, three, four, and then in a positive direction. Then we were introduced, so this was, and I'll just kind of like highlight this. This was the first thing that you probably learned in preschool. The second thing was they introduced the idea of, a, of, a, of zero, that that meant uh, nothing or no group. And then integers were negative numbers. When we couldn't describe everything using positive numbers, we introduced negative numbers. And then finally, rational, even though I believe as I'm going through the curriculum with my kids, that you're introduced to uh, fractions and decimals before you are to negative numbers. 
And then lastly, we talk about irrational numbers. And in this class, we begin with real numbers, but we're going to get to imaginary numbers eventually. Um, so this is us in summary. You have real numbers are either rational and irrational. And if I'm talking about classifying a number like, um, so example number one, like one fourth, I would say this is a rational number as well as a real number. So if they ask for all classifications, you would provide everything um, that that number, the, all the categories that that number falls into, including all the ones that are above it. So like, for example, what is zero? Zero for sure is a whole number, but because it's a whole number, it's also an integer and we just kind of go up the chain of the tree that you see on the left. It's an integer as well as a rational number, as well as a real number.